Hello, my friends. Uh, this is Hilary, your mortgage coach. Thank you for joining me. Today, I'm going to talk about uh, private finances, using private funds to, um, uh, in order to purchase your real estate. Uh, private funds could be uh, obtained from private individuals. So basically, you can negotiate with a somebody you know to loan you funds uh, so that uh, you can uh, purchase your properties when you negotiate with your friend or whoever you know you can decide on the terms of uh, uh, the loan also the interest rates there are also companies that uh, specialize in uh, lending private funds and uh, you can also uh, get uh, private funds uh, from a mortgage uh, broker. So uh, if you need um, uh, private funds, uh, you can uh, come to us and we can arrange to get you uh, private funds uh, depending on the deal that you have and uh, other situations. So uh, one um, very important distinction uh, when it comes to private funds is the interest rate. The interest rate is normally higher than uh, what you would obtain from uh, the bank. Uh, and so um, due to this increase in interest rate, it means that the money is expensive and therefore you need uh, to know how your exit strategy would go. So um, some of the costs that uh, are associated with private funds would be legal fees. Uh, there would be legal fees associated with uh, obtaining the private funds. There would be broker fees. There may also be some uh, uh, lender fees. So the lenders charge a certain fee uh, because they are getting these funds from uh, private individuals or institutions. Uh, the other thing is uh, there also could be some exit fees associated to these um, uh, private funds. So uh, when does one need to use uh, private financing for funding uh, real estate deals? Um, the private funds are very um, important when it comes to deals uh, that the banks cannot, um, cannot fund. For example, if you are going to um, get a property that is unlivable and you need to upgrade it and uh, uh, bring it uh, to a standard where the bank can uh, finance it, then you don't have a choice but to go to a private lender who will look at the potential of uh, the uh, property that uh, you have in place. Uh, the other thing is um, the private funds could be used uh, for a short uh, term period in order to meet specific needs. Like for example, if you are going to do a flip, um, then you don't want to have a long term funding associated with the flip because sometimes the fees uh, that would be associated with it would be high. I, I will give you a recent example of when we used uh, private financing uh, for a project. So uh, we had a client who came to us um, uh, last year in uh, October, and um, uh, our client had seen a good deal uh, where a duplex property was being sold for uh, 290,000 Canadian dollars. This property was discounted as is the property could be sold in the uh, market uh, for around uh, 330 to almost uh, uh, 340 Canadian dollars. Uh, thousand Canadian dollars. So um, the catch with this property was uh, the owner needed to sell it within, uh, um, to sell it and close uh, within two weeks. And therefore uh, going 
the traditional route would um, basically not be possible because, um, as you know, the current lending environment in uh, um, Ontario, it is very, very challenging even to close a property within 30 days. This is only for 14 days. So um, so our client came to us and uh, we were able to arrange a private uh, mortgage from a, a, an institution and um, our client also wanted to do some uh, renovation to add value to this property. Our client uh, was able to obtain private funds, a private mortgage, a first uh, a mortgage in a first position. And uh, uh, this was an expensive mortgage, uh, uh, around 10 percent. Uh, interest only, but then uh, the beauty with this was that uh, our client could uh, um, exit uh, any time uh, between, uh, you know, within six months. So if we were able to secure other funds within two months, uh, our client would have uh, just uh, refinanced the mortgage. First of all, when you get a private mortgage or private finance, you need to know your exit plan. And this is where your mortgage coach would be able to help you because um, the most important thing is to know how you are going to exit the expensive private funds. Our client got the property, was able to outcompete everybody because uh, our client was able to close the uh, property within two weeks. Why we were able to close the property was because um, our lender did not require any uh, appraisal uh, to be done in a physical appraisal. So the lender looked at the after repair value of the property and uh, uh, saw that there was a, a significant equity that is building already in the deal. The most important thing is to buy the property right, especially when you're using private funds, because you want to be able to recoup all the interest and uh, also have some profit uh, when you refinance the uh, property. So um, our client was able to renovate the property. After three months, um, we got, um, I was able to get uh, tenants uh, and uh, reappraise the property. And the property was appraised at around uh, 380,000 Canadian dollars. And we, were able to refi the property at 80% uh, loan to value in a conventional uh, mortgage. And uh, although our client used expensive money, but uh, he, uh, he was able to exit that within uh, four months. And uh, therefore um, he was able to actually pull out some equity uh, within the four months, which is uh, amazing given that uh, the uh, private funds were expensive. So when do you need to use um, private funds? When you do a, a bar prop, um, project where you are purchasing a property to renovate and then uh, rent and refinance, uh, then it is important for you uh, to use financing that is um, short term uh, because once the renovation is done, you want to go back to um, the bank or your lender to refinance uh, into a lower interest uh, mortgage. So uh, another important um, uh, point where one can use uh, private funds is when you're doing a flip. Uh, a flip should be done uh, quick and fast so that uh, you exit and sell the property. Um, and so uh, when you have um, when you have a mortgage that is open that you can pay off uh, immediately. Uh, after you're done uh, the renovation or after it has been uh, re uh, refinanced, then uh, you gain a significant advantage. And you also save because uh, you don't pay penalty fees for uh, closing uh, that mortgage. Uh, the other thing is uh, sometimes when you're doing construction, uh, some 
uh, banks would uh, uh, be reluctant to uh, give a construction loan. And so uh, most people who do development would use uh, private funds. Um, so one of the key thing that you need to remember is that you need to know what your exit strategy is. So you need to discuss with your mortgage coach or mortgage broker um, how you are going to exit. You don't want to assume that you're going to just refinance the property uh, after the renovation uh, without knowing whether uh, the income, your income or your debt ratio is going to support the after repair value. So uh, you need to sit with us so that we can uh, plan with you and uh, look at uh, the best way of uh, exiting, the best way of executing uh, your project. Now, there are some key things that you need to remember. Um, when you take uh, private funds, we strongly advise that uh, you uh, obtain independent uh, legal advice. Uh, this is very, very important because uh, you don't want to be surprised by the terms uh, of your private loan. Um, you don't want to be uh, surprised by the fees that you're going to pay. And so uh, it's, it's uh, of great importance that uh, you obtain uh, independent legal advice. Uh, we would help you in terms of uh, recommending some uh, legal, some lawyers that we've used. Um, and remember also that uh, the private lender has uh, legal advice. So uh, it's only fair that you also obtain uh, legal advice uh, for the uh, project that you're doing so that uh, you don't get any surprises. So how can we help you as your mortgage coaches? So the first thing is we can help you obtain uh, competitively priced uh, funds uh, for your uh, project. We will uh, be able to help you negotiate and uh, depending on your situation, uh, negotiate the best terms and, uh, um, and also uh, the interest rates uh, that uh, would be suitable uh, for your project. Now, the other thing is we would also guide you um, on how uh, to best use these private funds. And uh, also the other thing is we will help you to review your exit strategy because that is the most important thing. We want to look at the end uh, from the beginning so that as you execute your, um, your project, uh, we are there to help you all the step in all your steps so that uh, uh, at the end, you are able to exit successfully. So uh, I hope this has been uh, uh, informative to you. Uh, please um, share this uh, video with your friends, like uh, our video and uh, send us a comment or two. And uh, uh, please uh, help me reach more people. And hopefully uh, we will be able to help you uh, one time or another in your journey of investing. Thank you and God bless you, bye.